तुझे तमीज है तो सारी जिंदगी इसी तरह जब्त करना होगा प्यार किया तो डरना क्या जब हिंदुस्तान कोई तुम्हारा दिल नहीं जिंदाबाद जिंदाबाद मेरा दिल भी कोई आपका हिंदुस्तान नहीं मुझे पता नहीं बट आई विन आउट मिस्टर तेरे को लगता है अपन ने चीटिंग किया अपन खुला बोलता है किया पढ़े लिखे ईमानदार मेहनती जवान को काम नहीं मिल सकता क्यों नहीं आई बंबई बड़ा शहर यहाँ सच बोलकर पेट भरने का रास्ता ढूंढने से नहीं मिलता और झूठ बोलकर पैसे बनाने के रास्ते हैं चार सौ बीस हेलो एंड वेलकम ओके आप पीटर गोल्ड आई एम अ परफॉर्मर अ प्रोफेसर अ राइटर अ माइम एंड अ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट ट्रांसफॉर्मर आल्सो द डायरेक्टर ऑफ द मोस्ट वॉच वीडियो एवर ऑन बीसी टीवी प्ले बाय अदर वेस्टर्न वर्ल्ड व्यूड मोर देन 47000 टाइम्स बट टुडे आई एम हियर एज एन इंटरव्यूअर एंड माय गेस्ट्स आर आर वीडी साला एंड जॉन पॉटर हु आर वर्किंग टू वर्किंग टुगेदर टू पुट टुगेदर अ प्रोग्राम इन अक्टूबर एट द लैचेस थिएटर कॉल्ड द बॉलीवुड spotlight series so i i think you all know john potter john is a local master of working uh, 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 together he's the executive director of the nonprofit latches arts and the for profit latches latches uh, uh, corporation the, the the two entities which run the historic uh, latches theater downtown um and ensure that the latches which is a true heirloom treasure of our town remain a, a vital part of the community before stepping into that job 8 years ago John has it really been 8 years it's been 8 years oh my yeah. god wow. <laughs> time flying John was a journalist in Vermont for more for more than 20 years including a dozen years as the editor of, of the art section of the Brattleboro Reformer uh the founder of the Ovation Art Section who wrote so many encouraging uh, articles about about my work work over the years that I am forever in his debt when John is away from his big desk his messy desk at the last is John enjoys singing and hiking he lives in West B with his wife two daughters and a lot of pets oh. Vidhi Sala a cultural arts curator radio show host journalist from Mumbai India now based uh, in, in, in Guildford Vermont Vidhi we are so happy that you are based here now she hosts the uh, absolutely unique uh, radio show Vidhi's Bollywood jukebox on Brattleboro's community radio station WVEW low power every Thursday from 3 to 5 p.m. I I've listened a lot she's the founder of Vidhiism uh which is a unique idea a movement a whole uh, uh enterprise with which she hosts indian movie watching experience for inter international audiences featuring indian food and her uniquely wonderful scholarly cultural introduction to each film that she shows and also handicrafts that you can buy when you come to to these showings from exceptional uh, uh, uh people crafts crafts people uh a artist whom she discovers back in her other homeland since the summer of 2021 vidi has hosted movie events all over new england and now this this new uh, endeavor a month long bollywood spotlight series at the latches theater which begins uh, in october so, so let's begin by by asking her more about it vidi let's start with you what exactly is the bollywood spotlight series so uh First of all thanks to John and the Latches for collaborating with me. The Spotlight series is going to be a month long showcase of different Bollywood films that I have picked. Uh there will be one film that will be screened twice every week and uh, each of the films are from a different time period, a different genre and uh These films will of course the screenings will have my cultural introduction my handicrafts on display and uh, with support from the latches also indian snacks of samosas which will give audiences an authentic movie experience like they are at an indian movie theater Oh great and uh, so the screenings will be scheduled on thursday evenings 6:30 pm and sunday afternoons 4 pm 
and people are welcome to come in early to do some shopping and uh, enjoy watching these uh, unique films that I have uh, curated. Mm. Uh, so John, how, how, so why don't you tell us a little bit more about this Spotlight series? I, I know that the context of this is that you had some other interesting themes in the past. Yeah. Chocolate, so, um, birds, um, opera, and now yeah, this. Chocolate, birds, opera, and now this. So a Spotlight series is a, um, a, a monthly themed uh, film series that um, our Latches Arts uh, some of our Latches Arts board members have put together with uh, other people in the community, uh, both uh, helping to curate the films, uh, and then um, we try to find a community partner um, to work with us uh, as well. So for the chocolate-themed films in July, we partnered with Tavernier, uh, and that was great fun, and people got to enjoy some of uh, Tavernier's wonderful, wonderful chocolate, and then watch uh, some films that had some, some connection to chocolate you know, the Willy Wonka film, like Water for Chocolate, and we even showed uh, Forrest Gump because everything, you know, everything's like a box of chocolate. Life <laughs> is like a box of chocolates. So uh, this current month, September, we are uh, showcasing uh, films related to birds in this month of migration, uh, and that wraps up with winged migration. Uh, but that's been great fun. We partnered with the Southern Vermont Natural History Museum, and they brought in some live uh, birds of prey uh, last weekend, and that's oh, wow. very thrilling. Uh, to do. In August, we, um, the theme was opera uh, to partner with the um, Tundi uh, opera people who brought the Wagner in Vermont Festival to the Latches. So we try to uh, be timely or uh, find fun and interesting uh, partners. And uh, VD is uh, just the perfect, um, perfect uh, extra partner for, mm. for this. So we're very excited about that. She is, and th there was. Uh, but I, I've heard that part of this is is that you you, you conduct you conducted a a survey, right? That there was that, that the latches uh, a little while ago to, did, did a survey of the people around here to find out if there was any particular a sort of film that they wanted to to see. Yeah, back in the the darkest days of the of the pandemic when uh, we were shut down and. Um, uh, we wanted to stay connected um, to all of our people, and uh, we also had some questions, uh, some, some things we wanted to find out. Uh, what do they really want from us? And so we sent out an audience uh, survey, and we got about 600 responses, which we were very pleased with. Wow. Again, what else did people have to do <laughs> then but fill out sur online surveys? So, um, but um, one of the things we asked them um, uh, was to tell us what other kinds of films uh, we'd like to see, and we got many great suggestions. Um, many of them were very general, old films, um, first run films, um, you know, things that were helpful, but um, we had a number of people specifically identified uh, Bollywood, and um, it was their level of enthusiasm. I wrote down what one person said, Bollywood, please, 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 I love Bollywood, with so <laughs> many exclamation points after it that wow. I, I'm sure they had to replace the um, ink in their printer to finish um, <laughs> printing it out. Um, so uh, we, um, we heard that loud and clear, the level of enthusiasm and, and passion for that. 57% of the people who responded in our surveys said they would like more foreign films. Um, yeah. And so, um, but Bollywood gave a, a specific um, realm within that. So um, we heard that loud and clear and, and uh, we're finally able to bring that to fruition uh -huh. uh, with VD's help. Oh. I, 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 that's wonderful. Avidi, uh, you answered that call then. Do you, uh, I guess you could tell us a little more about, about these films which you're showing in the series. So, um, yeah, I'll start with the first film for the first week, which is uh, called Mughle Azam. It's, it translates as The Great Mughal. It's a film from 1960, and it's a historical fiction based on the life of... Uh, one of India's biggest emperors, Emperor Akbar, and his son, Prince Salim. So it's based on a little legend about Prince Salim. And uh, the whole film was mounted on such a grand scale that Indian cinema had not seen until that point. I mean, for one, the film took 14 years to make. Oh. <laughs> 14 years is a long time, and the film... Uh, started before the partition of India and independence of India. So a lot of the artists were relocated to Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And uh, the film 
then started production again after partition, after they found new people to do everything else that was left behind. They had so many financial setbacks because the director would not leave a stone unturned to get the uh, film of his visions out there. And so many of the financiers were afraid of being bankrupt. From uh, from what I read about trade trade analysts, the numbers they have put on the actual budget of the film when adjusted for inflation is anywhere between 500 million to 2 billion Indian rupees. Mm. This was made at a time when uh, Indian films, so one song sequence in the film is made on a budget more than a whole film that was made at the time. And the film has like six to seven song sequences. <laughs> so you can imagine mm -hmm. how grand it is. The film was made for the big screen. When it finally released in theaters in Mumbai, on the day of the premiere, the reels of the film arrived on a decorated elephant <laughs> in Mumbai city. And this was the grandeur that the director had envisioned and he brought it to fruition. Mm -hmm. And people, of course, have, uh, have loved the film, have uh, cherished it, and every director in India considers it their Bible. Mm -hmm. When the film released, people would queue up for the whole day to buy tickets to the mm -hmm. film. And it remained like the highest grossing uh, Bollywood film for 15 years. Mm -hmm from the date of its release. So this is the film that we will be showing at The Latches. And with John's support, we will have the opening night at the big theater, as well as the following show on Sunday. And uh, really, the historic uh, big screen at The Latches uh, does justice to the format that uh, this film Mughal Azam was made for. The second film is uh, uh, called English Winglish, a lot more urban, a lot more recent from 2012. It's, uh, it's a very lighthearted feminist film about this homemaker who travels to New York for the first time and encounters an English language uh, workshop or like a crash course for the first time. And uh, she is a character who represents countless Indians who feel lost in urban India due to the lack of English proficiency. So the film has a has a very clear message, but does it in a very lighthearted way, which is why I love this film so much. The third film is called uh, Munna Bhai MBBS. It's a 2003 film, a lovely comedy. It's so well written for uh, all its uh, comedic and uh, emotional elements. The film is about a gangster whose father wants him to be a doctor because uh, a lot of uh, Indian parents want their kids to be doctors. It's like the number one profession. <laughs> and um, so he, after a series of some hilarious and some emotional circumstances, enrolls for a medical college. And uh, the film uses Munna's character as an outsider to examine what is wrong with our healthcare industry and how uh, patients are treated without kindness. Mm -hmm. And the fourth film is uh, Shri Charsobis, translated as Mr. 420, because 420 is the, <laughs> is the Indian penal code for fraud. Oh. Mm -hmm. So he's, he's supposed to be Mr. 420. And uh, it's, it's the story of this small town guy who comes to Mumbai in search of better work, but uh, gets sucked into the world of uh, gambling because he has a knack for uh, cards so and and this is the film it's a black and white classic and it was made in 1955 at a time when a lot of indian films were made with the objective of giving a social message to audiences <coughs> so yeah these are the four films that will be uh, showcased on uh, all four weeks in october and i will be present at every screening to give a cultural introduction to the great, film. Great, great. Oh, so so, which is to say that you will be <clears throat> at the big screening, but also the also the, the second yeah. the second screening all too. Of, all of because there the are some things. of us who who with different schedules we might not be able to get to, to exactly. the first one, but we would be able to. Yeah, get to the I want people to have the exact same experience that they had at the first screening, uh, okay. at the and keep it going for the whole month. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, John, uh, you and I have talked about this be before. I mean, it's an appropriate question for you because you, you, you run a movie theater. Uh, the idea of movies that we have seen that have changed our lives. For me, the, for me and the reason that I'm here today is, is when I was, I was 20 years old and I saw the world of, uh, of Apu by, by, by Satyajit, Satyajit Rai, it was, that was a, a life-changing experience for me. An experience of like, I walked into the theater, I saw this movie, and when I walked out of the theater, I was a different, a, a different person from the person who, who walked in. And that, that leads me to ask, uh, it's sort of a long way of asking, this is not going to be the first time that Indian films have been played at the latches. For instance, I remember that I've seen uh, uh, Salam, Salam Bombay there, and Slumdog Millionaire. Have, do you have a recollection of other, of other Indian movies that you've shown? Well, just uh, over a year ago, we partnered with Next Stage mm -hmm. up in Putney to uh, show Jal Sagar. Mm -hmm. And um, that um, screening opened my eyes a lot about um, the breadth and depth of, of what, uh, what all gets lumped under a, a Bollywood um, sort of heading. Right. It, uh, so, um, it is a big heading. It is big heading. It's sort of like saying I'm interested in films from Hollywood. Yeah, uh, right. Uh, it doesn't, yeah. and I think that's one of the gifts of uh, this series is that um, uh, it's hopefully going to. Um, it's certainly going to open my eyes as to um, uh, what falls under uh, the title Bollywood and the and the range and the depth and the breadth. Um, um, that screening uh, a year ago was where VD and I met. Right. Uh, yeah. So really, this series had had its uh, owes its birth to. Um, to that screening, mm -hmm. and uh, that screening um, also included some words about the film, primarily about the music mm -hmm. uh, in, in the film, which was a, a key element. Um, so again, to have um, a cultural perspective and some um, framing of the film in addition to the film was, was tremendously valuable. And from there, uh, it's just been a matter of um, us um, finding the time and finding um, you know the right films and and the slots on our schedule to do that. But so we have shown uh, other other films, uh, Bollywood films, um, and you probably remember more than I do. Uh, <laughs> but um, this is a, a concerted effort to this really uplift. Yeah. One of the things you know, theaters are changing, um, and I we think our future will uh, be will include more than just the first run commercial films. Those are very valuable, very important, very wonderful. Uh, contemporary filmmaking is important for us to continue to support and uplift, but uh, there is a growing conversation among theaters uh, and, and, and theater owners and operators of um, the responsibility uh, theaters have uh, toward uh, cinematic literacy and cinematic awareness. and. Uh, the pandemic opened our eyes a little bit to that um, in the first months after we reopened. Um, there was nothing new for us to show, so we put up on our big screen uh, Casablanca and um, Jurassic Park and Hard Day's Night and um, just some really great films that um, um, we could choose to show up there. And, and I think that's um, part of our mission and responsibility. Um, a lot of the great old films are not available on streaming platforms. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, in some senses, I think theaters have the responsibility to make sure that people get a chance to see yeah. great films from all styles and genres, and I think this also fits um, very well into, into that, too, um, to help guide people into, into what, uh, how big a world cinema is. And uh, there, there is something about film <clears throat> that, that stays with you. To prepare for being here today, uh, I watched about a half an hour. Uh, a world of Apu, and exactly the way I felt the first time I saw it, it just returned, returned to me. Such, such power, powerful feelings, uh, which really can only can, can only come to you in that particular way through through the use of film. Uh, but the, there is another art form which I'm interested in. There's a rumor, Vidi, that uh, you're also going to host a dance workshop. <laughs> uh, uh, how do I sign up for, for that? Oh, yeah. Um, so we are still working on the venue and the date for that, mm -hmm. but it's definitely happening in the month of October. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I want to do like a Bollywood dance uh, introduction to people where I will teach uh, all the participants a few moves that they can groove to when they listen to a Bollywood dance song. And 
<coughs> and it's open for all age groups. Uh, I would really like people to come together and have a Bollywood grand old dance party. That so, sounds really <laughs> exciting. Yeah, I think really uh, the best way to um, enroll for that or sign up would be through the Facebook events page or through my website, which mm -hmm. is vidhiism.com. Mm -hmm. So all the information will be available through that. Right. But yeah, it's it's really exciting. I hope that people can, uh, and I, I'm sure, I mean, uh, I haven't seen uh, an area where there are so many people interested in dance mm. than uh, our Wyndham County, you know, Brattleboro, mm -hmm. Putney, all these places. Each time there is a band uh, that people like to dance to, it has the greatest turnout. So oh, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited to groove with these people so, and uh, <laughs> show some Bollywood moves. <clears throat> right, so, so speaking about, it, about excitement, John, so is there anything else you want to mention that gets you really excited about this uh, whole initiative? Well, I, I'm personally excited to uh, learn more about um, Bollywood. I think uh, all of us, um, and certainly I, uh, have a very limited sense of, of Bollywood. Oh, Bollywood. Uh, and I think uh, my eyes, I'm, I'm very excited to have my eyes open as wide as they can be about, uh, about um, uh, Bollywood films and, and about um, you know, the whole possible world. Uh, of Bollywood films. So I'm personally excited about that. I'm very excited about working with Vidi, who mm -hmm. is um, a dream and um, just a visionary oh, uh, for this series. Mm -hmm. And it's been, um, we, um, our whole method and mission at The Latches is to collaborate. Um, we um, produce some of our own events, but most of what we do uh, in our theater is, is born of collaboration. So uh, we like to play well with others. So we're very happy to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm excited to see the audiences and he, um, see what their response is. And, um, um, you know, all of us, I think, oh, many of the things that we like, particularly art artistically and culturally, to other people who have guided us into them, whether it's the friend who gives you an album or a CD, so you have to listen to that or, um, you know, watch this movie or here's a book that I really liked. And, um, so I think um, uh, this is, uh, Vidi is our friend to um, show us this world and I'm excited uh, to be very influenced and very uh, curious uh, about uh, Bollywood from here on. And uh, we've already um, mentioned in our conversations that we work together, well, next year we might want to add this. So I think there's a, a very much a sense that um, uh, this is, uh, to quote another movie, the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Right. And, um, we're going to be doing that. So I'm excited about uh, all of all of that. And mm -hmm. it's just, I think October is a great month to um, experience color and wonder and um, great art and move our bodies a little bit to stay warm and to stay excited. So uh, for all these reasons, I, I'm excited. And to, and to honor the spirit of what the survey told us as well, mm -hmm. that people Good. want to see this. So, yeah. oh, uh, What about you, Vidi? What gets you most excited about this whole idea? Uh, yeah, a lot of the common things that John mentioned, I'm really curious about people's uh, reactions to the film. I have been doing movie events in the area and uh, I have had interactions. Some people have come, traveled as far away from Brooklyn, New York hmm. to just come and watch a Bollywood film here mm -hmm. on the big screen. So that is... Uh, uh, th that is indicative of the direction in which I'm going is I want to uh, have, I want people to come out and watch and experience a film together because we haven't done that uh, in a long time, especially after all the streaming platforms have been in the picture. Uh, this collective movie watching experience is not something we've had. And as John mentioned, so many films are not available for streaming and uh, so many films uh, do not, your, your little computer screen doesn't do justice to right. the uh, vision that the director had while making the film. And so all of these factors are what we, uh, we have consumed films so far as a commodity and as, as a very uh, recent thing, like a latest Marvel movie has released now this week, you must watch it now, now. And this is the time to watch it. But what about the films that became cult classics and people, you know, saw the uh, popularity or the essence of the film and after they had seen it a bunch of times, 
after that you don't get to see these films in theaters so this uh, the element of curation i feel is uh, not there in cinema as much as it is there in other art forms mm-hmm. and that is something i am uh, attempting to do with this event and many more to come in the future like even in bollywood films the the language is different but there are english subtitles of course for people to understand but in a film like mughle azam it's about 16th century india you don't know anything about this emperor but people will be able to relate to the controlling parent character or the element of royal families and how they are so stoic and they won't marry outside of the royal lineage so these are universal elements that uh, people will be able to grasp even in a language uh, that is not their own mm-hmm. and these are some of the things that uh, are exciting to me about this uh, uh, latches event and i'm i'm really Uh, I I hope that people come out to watch every single film because uh, no one film is completely indicative of Bollywood. The classics have been made in the past, but there are also contemporary films made on a lower budget. When in the 2010s decade, for example, when content was uh, given more importance than the visual of a film. So all of these factors I have. taken into consideration while curating these films and in fact for the opening night for mughle azam if people want to dress up and come out to the film it will be uh, an experience to remember for them mm, great <laughs> so uh, so vidisala john potter it's been a, a privilege to talk with you both is there any final final thought that you'd like to leave with with our viewers today before we s- sign off I'd just like to mention that uh, we're offering these films by donation, so that price will not be a barrier. So please come. Mm. Uh, we we just want you to. That's to wonderful. Come. Yeah, yeah, that's wonderful. We actually found uh, at the youth theater that when we sold our, our refreshments uh, that way by, by donation, uh, we made more money. Mm. <laughs> because that does inspire people people to be generous people who can and, yeah. well and and um, they and might everyone can feel they might they might donate an amount on the way in and then being so satisfied with what they've seen they might put some more in on the way out Did i think wanna... it's such a it's such a great initiative uh, i heard recently that uh, the latches in this area has been a theater that has always curated films that are outside of the commercial realm mm. and uh, it's the perfect partnership for me to take forward uh, a, an endeavor that uh, I started last summer yeah i'm really looking forward uh, yeah. to have uh, people come and see this right place. and it should also be be said that if if you're if you're seeing this on on tv and you, you don't often often go out to the latches it's just an experience to walk into that place it it, it uh as i said earlier it's an heirloom it it's a treasure for our town it's such a beautiful theater and i know that part of the work that john has been doing at the latches is to uh to to work with people with, with designers to bring bring all the incredible sculptures and paintings and friezes and lighting lighting effects some of which we will hear about over the next couple of years which will blow your mind uh you, you you should come out come out for the collective movie viewing experience yes and also for the experience of being in this wonderful place thank you all out there in bc tv land for tuning to tuning in okay i'm peter gold for the latches for bc tv and for vd's bollywood spotlight series starting at the latches theater in early october mm-hmm.